The House further notes that there are several IDP camps all over the country due to the continuous evasion by Boko Haram, which has led to displacement of many innocent citizens from their communities. The House is worried that there are a lot of stories in our national dailies, including the New York Times, of the harrowing experiences of rape committed against women and girls by men in the camps, especially those who are supposed to be protecting them. The House is aware, sorry, the House is further worried that the stories are the same in all the camps across the country, namely rape, sex for food and materials, rampant pregnancy and abandonment of young mothers and their children. There are also cases of pilfering of relief materials and extortion, of, extortion ravaging the camps. The House is, for aware, is aware that Human Rights Watch had reportedly written to various government agencies requesting comments on the various allegations emanating from all the camps, but has not received any response. Speaker, the House is further aware that the National Emergency Management Agency is mandate, mandated under the National Emergency Management Act to provide emergency relief to victims of natural or other disasters and to assist in their rehabilitation. But NEMA and the Refugee Commissions, which have expanded mandate for IDPs, are unable to cope with the level of displacement. The House is concerned that the effort of government concerning the care and protection of the IDPs is not enough, hence the need for government to do more to protect them. The House resolved, Mr. Speaker, to mandate the Committee on IDPs, Refugees and Initiatives on on Northeast to investigate the rampant cases of rape, teenage pregnancy, extortion and stealing of relief materials in internally displaced persons camp across Nigeria and report back within eight weeks. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I so move. Speaker, this motion, there is a, a, um, an editorial by the nation's newspaper dated the 17th of December that analyzed and actually gave the details of the, the way and manner the security agencies and other officials in the various IDP camps in the country has been treating the innocent and unsuspecting internally displaced persons. Mr. Speaker, the essence of the security agencies in this camp is essentially to protect the already vulnerable people that are in these camps. But there has been a lot of reports coming out of these camps, which to me, and I believe by extension to members of this uh, hallowed chamber, that it is, not, it is not good for these um, uh, security agencies to continue in that manner. In a situation whereby Young girls that are already vulnerable, that run away from their various homes or communities for fear of being killed or harmed, run into safety in these camps to be molested, to be raped. As a matter of fact, some of them have contracted AIDS or HIV. So for us, to be, I believe, this is wickedness on the part of those officials. And again, Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, there have been several reports that even the relief materials that have been extended to them, at least to live life, I mean, to, to, to get some kind of succor, don't, doesn't, don't even get to them. And I believe that if there is the need for this matter to be investigated, because it does not speak well of our country, it then means that all the efforts by government in trying to secure these people, over 2.5 billion you know, refugees all across the, the 13 uh, IDP camps across the, uh, in the Nordics, it's a, it's a waste of time. Because how can you, 
for God's sake, if a 15 or 16 year old girl, how can such person be raped, you know, by over 20 men? These are informations that have gone across our shores to the extent that the New York Times wrote in their editorial. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, if we do not do anything about this, it will further reduce the image of this country. And I believe that this House has the power, we have that, that, that authority to investigate this matter, and that those that are involved, if those children or those people in the IDP camps can point fingers, those that are involved should be brought to book to serve as a deterrent to um, other members of the security forces that are manning these camps. Mr. Speaker, that is the debate of this motion, and I crave the indulgence of this House to support this motion so that the relevant committee can do their work expeditiously and come back to this House. I so submit, Mr. Speaker. Say aye. Those against it, say nay. I submit.